Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is the first panel in this room for IGN Live. So thank you all for coming here, starting your convention here. I heard it was hard to find, so extra thanks to all of you who put in that effort to do that. We've got a lot going on today. Of course, we know what you're here for, Alien Rogue Incursion. But then we'll have a Demon Spore demo, and then a screening of Transformers Earth Spark. And then this one, I'm going to do again. We're going to play Borderlands with the Borderlands cast and see how good they are at that. <laughs> but let's get to what we're here for today, of course. If you thought alien games were terrifying and spine tingling enough, which I did, think again, because Alien Rogue Incursion is the first ever alien game to come to VR directly and completely envelop players in the terror of the alien universe. Alien Rogue Incursion is proudly made by alien fans for alien fans. We're gonna bring up one of the creators here. Please welcome Chief Product Officer TQ Jefferson from Servios. for joining us, TQ. Thank you for having me. I'm a little scared. I hope this stays still. Um, so this is Servio's first Alien game. What were your jumping off points when uh, building it up? What were some elements you knew you had to include? Uh, when we first thought through the game, you know, what we wanted to do is make something that was as authentic as possible mm -hmm. to, to the IP, to the film franchise, something that you know, fans would love, we're all fans uh, ourselves over at Servios. I grew up with Alien. So we wanted to make sure that we nailed all the, the, the components that if you had a mental checklist for things that should be in an Alien game, um, we tried to hit them all. Real quick, which is your favorite Alien movie? Nick was asking earlier, I know some of them answered. It's, it's gotta be, uh, it's, it's Alien. Okay. It's Alien. It's followed very, very, crowd favorite. <laughs> followed very closely by by Aliens. They're two different experiences, and they're both wonderful. But uh, that first Alien was it changed the game, as it were. It really did. It yeah. made history. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we all know, speaking of Xenomorphs, that they are the star, the proverbial Alien show. Uh, you've teased their kind of dynamic, unpredictable behavior. What can you tell me about developing the xenomorphs and what can fans expect, oh great, when encountering them? Yeah, this is how do you say I'm having a bad day without <laughs> saying I'm having a bad day. Um, the thing about uh, the xenomorph is, you know, our mantra is respect the xenomorph. We want to make them terrifying and powerful and fast and ferocious. They're called the perfect organism for a reason. So we want to make our xenomorphs stand out um, as, as an enemy type. Mm -hmm. So we, we've created a, a dynamic spawning system that works in a game that responds to what you're doing as you're moving through the world. So if, you, if you're clumsy, if you want to knock into stuff, or if, you, uh, if you, you, you don't really care what you're doing, you're going to start calling more and more xeno, xenomorphs to you. Cool. So yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like dialing your own difficulty uh, uh, setting. If I want to kick things over and knock down doors, I'm going to call more Xenos. It's like ringing a dinner bell for that. Well, we were talking backstage, and I told you I played Alien games before. And um, I was always scared, looking over my shoulder. So uh, how are you turning that up with VR involved? Well, honestly, uh, there is no greater platform for Alien than, than VR. Just the, the idea of being quite literally face to face with a xenomorph, uh, it comes across in a way in VR that just it's unmatched in, in any other platform. So having these xenos be smart, having them being very hard, xenomorphs being smart, being very hard to kill, being very fast, uh, they also can move anywhere in the 3D space and they're always trying to get to you. So they are using the environment. They are, they're coming out of the, the walls, the floors, the ceilings. They're traversing multiple surfaces. They're very crafty. They're, they're, they're very intelligent. They're very intent on getting to you. I mean, I expect it. I don't love it, but I expect it as someone who's scared of um, 
scary things. Uh, how can players fight back? Can they leverage the environment? We saw pulse rifles previously in footage. We're going to talk a, a bit more about in detail later on, but what I can say is that the, the character that you're playing as, and you, you, we've hinted at it in um, the first trailer, you know, with the presence of the pulse rifle, you can see that you have the ability to push back. So it's not a sneaking, stealth, hide-and-seek sort of experience. This is more kinetic. This is more... You know, pushing back against the dark is, I guess, the poetic way of saying that. So it's a much more like dynamic and active experience than maybe I've been conditioned to expect. One hundred percent. And one of the things that's you know vital to um, delivering a good experience in VR is interactivity. You know, what what can I what can I touch? What can I pull? What can I mess with in the world? So we're layering that in as well with you in your environment creating a sense of presence by being able to pick things up, by being able to open up doors uh, in a way that's like, I reach out, I press grab, and I open the door. That's a physical gesture in, a, in VR and not just a, uh, not a button press. Mm -hmm. So everything is almost, you're acting it out. There's so much potential here for me to break things. Um, so what situation will players find themselves in as the game begins? Oh gosh! Well, that that we're gonna uh, the story is is original. That's that I can say. It's an original story um, crafted by Servios. You know, working closely with Disney and 20th Century Studios. So what you're gonna see is a uh, you're gonna see some things that you've never seen before in the Alien franchise. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna see places you've never seen before. But there's also gonna be um, those familiar um, touch points where if you're looking at it when you're standing in the room. Mm -hmm. You're going to get that feeling of, oh, I'm, I'm in the world of Alien. It's in, and it's VR, so it's, you're, you're literally in the room in a way that you've never been before. Uh, tell me if you can, in any moments or, or maybe items in the game that could be of particular interest to Alien fans. We have a few. Well, um, there's not much I can say, and I'm sorry if I sound like I'm being coy, but there are PR people that are uh, watching me very closely, make sure I stay on 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 message. Is um, you know you you've seen you've seen the pulse rifle, and the pulse rifle implies a um, suite of weaponry mm -hmm. and 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 let's say gadgets um, that come with it that are all going to be sort of at your disposal. Can you but speak to that a little bit? Not just yet, because we have we have more planned for later. But um, I think. Um, you know, the alien, alien fans in the room are reading between the lines right now. They, I think they know what I'm saying. Um, so there's that. There's uh, an entire, uh, there are entire systems for how we're going to play. We, we call the game action horror. Mm -hmm. It's action horror with survival elements. So that's another little hint as to what you can expect to find in terms of, like, what's in the world, what is at your disposal, what can you do to push back against the xenomorphs. <laughs> Uh, do you have any advice for someone like me who is uh, pretty... Uh, it's hard for me to do horror games. I do love Alien. Well, um, yes. Yeah, one of the things that... Um, Cry, pray, I mean, what <laughs> yes, is it? Get, get good with God. Um, <laughs> now, um, one of the things that we're doing, we're, we're designing this game because we know that um, the Alien franchise fan base is broad. It ranges, you know, a very wide demographic of people because of all the different movies from Prometheus to Resurrection. Um, there have been so many fans that have been introduced to the Alien uh, uh, film franchise that we know that we, we know or we are hoping that people that are new to VR mm -hmm. are going to come to this game and, and jump into the world and, and enjoy it. So we're designing the game in a way that allows for people to play in shorter increments. So if you want to take it on in sort of, but no pun intended, bite-sized uh, uh, oh. uh, doses, um, you can. And you can, you can get in there, you can play it for X number of minutes, then you can take off the hardware, you can sa save it, take off the hardware, rest, come back to it later. <laughs> but the, 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 the very world is designed to accommodate that sort of gameplay. Uh, what is it like for Servios to work on iconic franchises like like Alien? 
You know, it's been, um, we have, Servius has a history of working with um, you know, great franchises. Creed is probably our number one or best known title, but uh, you know, Alien uh, is, is a, a, a new level, a new paradigm. It, uh, Alien allows us to tell um, a very different type of story. It, it allows us to create a, a very different type of game mm -hmm. and, and a, a different development process. And you know the, the collaboration or the work we've done with, with Disney and 20th Century Studios has been really am amazing um, on, on this, this franchise because they're just so um, welcoming of new ideas. So one of the things that we really enjoy doing is you know, finding our little space, little section of the sky and creating something original, creating something compelling, creating something authentic, and, and trying to add things to the overall franchise rather than just take what was already there and recycle it. So having a partner that lets you do that, that doesn't want you to just adapt this or just Mm -hmm. work on that, uh, is, is liberating. It lets our designers uh, feel free. It lets, <laughs> it, lets our, um, it lets our designers design freely. It lets our engineers think up new and cool things to, to, to make. It lets our writers find a story that is not just servicing the gameplay, but really is drawing on something deeper. Mm -hmm. You told me you had a goal for what you want players to do with their headsets. I did, I did. In making this game. So one of the one of the many levers that we're trying to play with in the game is fear, tension, anxiety. Um, we want to we want people to creep through this game not because it's a stealth game, but because they're 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 terrified of what's coming next. So um, the when and when things get kinetic and the xenos, xenomorphs are coming at you, um, you know, uh, uh, in mass. You know, if I can get someone, anyone, to so frightened that they pull off the headset for a moment, if they if they get chased out of the hardware, then uh, I I've done my job. Um, you know, that's that's if you look at any video of Creed on TikTok or whatever social it is, um, you're probably going to see pictures of people punching walls, punching TVs, punching family members by accident because they're so immersed in the world. Now imagine that level of immersion where you've got the perfect <laughs> organism, you know, chasing you down. I was about to say, that's boxing. This is, this is a different level. Yeah, this is a fight for your life. That's what we want. We want it to feel like you're there. We want it to feel like, I don't know what's going to happen next. Um, and part of our dynamic system will do that. Like you can go through a hallway like this one here and fight two Xenos. You can restart it, do it again, and it might be three, it might be one, it might it's be five. Many. So it's, you could, you could go through this five different ways and you'll have five different fights. And that's the sort of unpredictability that we wanna to bring to the, to the Xenomorph. Do you have any last word that you'd like to add to this? Uh, we do have to wrap it up though. No, no worries. Um, <laughs> first, it's been awesome to finally be able to talk about this game that we've been working on for so very, very long. And, and you know, it's a thing that we, we love so much. Um, I'm sure there's some alien fans out there that have been waiting for the, this type of game, especially in VR. And uh, I'm hoping that we don't, uh, we don't disappoint. Um, but I will say, it's a shameless plug, you know, wish list us on Meta, uh, on, on PlayStation, uh, Steam coming soon, so we're coming out this holiday season on all the, the VR platforms, and it really is, we're trying to make something special, and I, I, I really can't wait for you all to see it. All right, well, happy holidays, everyone. Uh, <laughs> as an alien fan, I am thrilled, and as a scaredy cat, my day is ruined. Thank you so much, TQ, for joining us, and uh, thank you, for telling us all about Alien Rogue Incursion, which again, available this holiday season. Thanks so much. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.